In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a digital flyer for your business. Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Little Nzo and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to design a digital flyer for your business. So we're going to design something that looks like this, which of course you can, you know, make adjustments to, to suit your business. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is create a new file. And you can see that the, the dimensions are already selected already there. I'm just going to go OK and use the default background color. And if you want to use the same color as I'm using, that's the hex code there, HTML notation, EE4799. So we click OK. So now we're going to create a new layer. Let's have our guides there. New guides by percentage. So it's going to click OK there. New guides by percentage. Vertical. OK. Now we're going to go ahead and add those solid colors in the background I showed you so just gonna right click there select the rectangular tool click and drag all right let's change that we'll make that white okay so we right click edit fill with foreground color right click select none now i'm just going to create a new layer here as well right let's create that new layer let's add this one here this will be much much slimmer or thinner i think that's right right click edit fill with foreground color right click select none I'm just going to move that to the side. That should be fine. Now I'm going to duplicate that layer. And I'm going to drag that to this other side. right now just gonna merge down those layers like that and then we reduce the transparency i'm gonna put it at uh, 10 like that that should be fine so i got this image from unsplash.com and deliberately left the name there it's by diva or devo Williamson I hope I pronounced that correctly so if you want to use this same image you can go ahead and download that from unsplash.com so I'm gonna just drag and drop that there all right now we scale the image all right and then now we go ahead and grab the paths tool so what I want to do is you know create this curve this curve at the bottom there so I'm just going to use, let's just drag another guide there, put it there. And then the first point would be here. The next one there. Then let's just try to close that up. Close that up. And then click and drag right at the middle there. And then use these nodes or handles to adjust the curve. I think that's okay. Press enter. Go to edit and clear. Add and select another tool. Right now we right click, select none. And now we have that curve there. Now let's remove that. 
yeah and then we adjust the image size so that it fits perfectly uh, to the background scale now the next step I'm gonna drag and drop this image here with the three confectionery items so I'm just gonna drag and drop that there so let's just scale that uh, scale tools already selected make sure Now we click scale. And then now the next step is to create this um, logo here. So as you can see, it's just text with uh, two layers of um, uh, stroke layers rather. So let's just go back to our image. Select our text tool. Then now let's work on the text. right so as you can see we have our text now we're going to go ahead and start uh, and add our strokes to that text now to do that the first thing you need to do is right click inside the text layer select path from text click on that create a new layer click ok right click again select from path now you can see that our text has been highlighted right click again select grow now we're gonna grow that by 20 okay and then we select our bucket tool then click inside right click select none now let's just bring back the text layer put that on top of that layer As you can see the stroke is already there now we're just going to repeat that step text tool click inside the text select path from text create new layer okay right click select from path right click select grow and this time we're going to grow by 30. Now we're going to select, we're going to change the color there. I think that should be okay. Yep. Yeah. Right, bucket tool. Click inside that. Right click, select none. And let's bring that layer to the bottom. Like that. Now I'm just gonna merge down those three layers. Make it one solid image. All right, there we have it. Like that. Now let's just move that up a bit. I think that's about it so the next thing we're gonna do is just add our details like these ones here select white now yeah it depends on the information you want to give to your prospective clients and you can add your address your social media accounts 
any information you think might be helpful in you know communicating your message or the intended message to your clients or prospective clients Cupcake here, drag and drop. All right, so first thing I'm going to do here is I can either select colors up there or I can just right click, select colors, and go to invert. And then change the layer transparency to 10. And then I think I'm going to scale that down. Should be fine. Scale. Right click here. Yeah. Select rotate. And take the image. I think that's fine. I just like leaving this tool uh, at scale. So I'm just gonna move that there. Then go back to that layer, duplicate it. Move it there a bit, like that. But I'll have to move this layer right at the bottom there, below that one there, like that. Have that little heart protruding from there. Then, I think I'm gonna add a tagline. Uh, let's say taste the what? Taste the greatness, maybe. Of course, that's completely made up. Just put that there. So the next thing. I think we're going to have to add drop shadows. Go to the image with the cupcake and the main image. Go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Just going to change that to uh, 0.75. Like that. Click OK. And we'll go to our logo text layer. Filters, repeat drop shadow. You don't have to, you know, open it and reconfigure your drop shadow. Just select repeat and it'll just match the two. Now, I think probably the only thing that's left is adding the contact details. Let's just add that to make sure it's aligned. Then I think we can also go ahead and add our social media icons. Colors invert. Let's just zoom out on that and yeah, there we have it. A simple flyer design in GIMP. You can use this to advertise your business online if you're an entrepreneur or you're a startup. Uh, and yeah, if you find this useful or helpful, don't forget to like. Don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues or peers. 
and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so you never miss out on content we're going to be releasing thank you guys for watching